I want a lift on me own. No one can hear me. You did all those cameras on the loft, did you? There's cameras in the loft. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Post on Politics. I am your host, Ryan across the Apple Turnover, and on today's episode, you guessed it, I'm gonna do my job and try and make you laugh. Or be angry, or smile, or just receive any emotion. BBC. Big black charisma. <laughs> I'm angry today. No, I am. <laughs> I, I am actually angry. Not because of this van that's from, I don't know, 1745. Because I, it, I step outside. It's not a bad day. It's actually all right, yeah? But look at those bushes. It's like you step out and God just like does a massive sneeze and just goes, It's way rudery. I am annoyed. Okay, am I allowed to be annoyed, people at home? Yes, it isn't raining, it's not freezing, but if I want to do anything, I'll go and then that's what it's like. I step out of the van and it's like, honestly, my hat is like this most of the time. My hair is just all over the place. So I'm annoyed. I don't know what else to say. This ain't right, it shouldn't be this windy. Come on then, let's go in these flats, these really nice flats. Oh, hello everyone, I'm Roman Zedison, and what he didn't quite realise is that he's about to do something that is actually quite embarrassing. Enjoy! Straight away! Doors closing. Now I can be weird. Oh yeah, what are you going to do? I want to lift on me, oh no one can hear me! No one can hear me! Ooh. Hi. You did all those cameras on the loft, did you? There's cameras in the loft. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually... <laughs> oh my god. I just did all that in the lift. <laughs> As you just heard, a Scottish woman went, you know all those cameras in the loft? I thought she said loft, that's why I went, there's cameras in the loft. As soon as she said it, my phone stopped recording. <laughs> She's like, we just saw you doing all those dances. And I was just like, yeah, I was sending it to her, mate. <laughs> mate, I just got caught red-handed being weird. That's rare. It's a bit echoey in here, isn't it? That's just made me less angry. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> so annoying I couldn't get that on film, but I will. You're doing all those cameras in the lift. <laughs> no, I don't know there's cameras in the lift. Hence why I was being an absolute goon in the lift. And now I do know there's cameras in the lift. I might act a little bit differently in the lift. But no, 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 Smiley. I'm angry. I'm angry. But you know what? Actually, that brings me on to this point. You're gonna go through loads of different emotions every single day. Like happiness, I love feeling happy. I wish I had more happiness. But guess what? Who cares about that? I, I started this shift incredibly angry and I'm still angry at certain bits, but that just made me really laugh. <laughs> so there's no point laughing and just going straight back down to anger. It's like, okay, I'm laughing now. So I'm just gonna let that uplift me for however long it's gonna uplift me, you know? Do you ever have like a really bad day and then something good happens but you don't really let it happen or you don't let yourself laugh because you're having a bad day? Fuck that! Don't do that! If nothing lasts forever, it comes and it goes and it goes and it comes. Turn left on Dunford Street then turn right. I know where I'm going, all right? Shut up! Oh, do you ever see girls that wear eyelashes that genuinely <laughs> like don't look good. Not even don't look good, their, their eyes are just like that all the time. Like, what are you doing? You don't, you don't look good anyway, girl. I would prefer your natural eyelashes. Do you know what I do find rather funny though? When I'm having a bad day, I still have to say to everyone, have a good one, have a good one, have a good one. <laughs> and then usually what I do when I walk away, I'm like, 
Have a good one. I'm not. <laughs> I just think it actually lightens me up when I'm having a bad day because it's not easy to just like have a shit day and have to say have a good one a hundred times. When you're not having a good one, you have a good one. I'm not. <laughs> Genuinely, 10 seconds ago at the start of this road, it was grey, rainy and just horrible. It's now sunny. It's like you've got two options. You can either go out knowing that at one point your knees are going to be shaking and you're going to be freezing because you've chosen to put a t-shirt and shorts on when it's sunny outside and then within 30 minutes it goes, oh, I'm cold now. Or yeah, you end up being a model and you just bring like four outfit changes and you're like, hold on guys, give me two seconds. It's starting to rain. I need to put my coat, my trousers on, my waterproof trousers, my, my boots on. I can't believe I didn't put my boots on. That's a little reference that none of you are going to get. I forgot to put my boots on. <laughs> I just indicate. Just indicate. Use your indicators. And then I can know where you're going. Also, when I use my indicator, recognise that my indicator's on. You know, the amount of times I indicate and someone's just like, oh God, he's turning. I told you. I'm literally soldier with my indicator. I said, mate, I'm turning right. <laughs> that was a pitch I've never gone to before. My people, this is the part of the episode where I bring it to a close with a nice little story. Let me just, hold on, let me just, hold on, let me just pull up quick. This is a story all about how my life got flipped and turned upside down. Now, this is a story about Ronquentio III. Ronquentio III was a lovely lad, but he did have his troubles. He had so much anger just pent up in him. He didn't know what to do with that anger. So he used to take it out on other people. He used to be frustrated, especially at school, just angry, angry, angry. Someone annoyed him. <laughs> Hey, you know what I mean? Like, just right in your face, being mean to people, just to be mean to people, even when they've done nothing to you. It was one of them people where everyone just knew him as that kid at school. Do you, you ever spoke to Ron Quintio? Yeah, he's, he's an absolute idiot. Yeah, I know. And the third as well. Like, there's, there's been three of them, Ron Quintios, and he hasn't had enough time to realise that he's, he's too angry. But then, do you know what that creates? That creates a problem where you've then segregated that person Ron Quentio. and he was already angry and already felt a bit different and now he's even more angry and feels even more different because you've pushed him to the side Ron Quentio took that as a challenge and he just got worse he got more mean got more angry and he turned into not a nice person until one day he met this lovely little lady she was soft she had nice skin she spoke in a way in a vibration that just allowed everyone to just calm down and chill out a bit. Ron Quentio then went, Jesus Christ, I've never actually not been angry, you know? This is nice. And then it dawned on him, I've been angry my whole life. Not even really realising it, just head down, going through life, getting angry at every single little thing that happened. He paused for a moment and let the natural hum of the world take over, including his really old van. And then decided to go well i felt pretty nice in that feeling of content happiness that soft touch from that lovely lady i felt nice in that moment and whenever i've been angry i haven't really felt that nice so it's a choice i guess at the end of the day things will annoy you things annoy me all the time but think of ron quentio the third he was angry his whole life, and it just took one moment for him to realise that I don't want to be angry. I want to choose how I react to things. So that's my message to you, people. When you go out today, or if you don't go out, whatever you're doing, make sure that you are choosing how you react to whatever happens. Let your emotions be your choice, not guided by the fallacies of life. I've been Rowan McAvan. No, I haven't. I've been Rowan McCrusty turn. I've been Rowan McCrusty apple turnover. And I'm tired. Goodbye. <laughs>